what is ecocide? Uh, ecocide is the extensive damage, destruction to or loss of ecosystems. What I've done is I've given a legal definition to the word. The word itself has been around since actually the late 1960s. I, but what I've done is I've taken it into the United Nations back in 2010 and proposed that it becomes an international crime to criminalise mass damage and destruction. What we also discovered was that there was a meeting in 1996 for the then Working Group on Crimes Against the Environment where it was announced by the head of the Working Group that ecocide was going to be removed. Now, no reasons were given and actually a number of member states complained uh, and flagged up that this should not be removed without any good reason or, or, or even debate because many countries had gone on record as supporting it. But that didn't happen, and it was removed, and in fact that working group was closed down. And this is the problem, is that everything happens behind closed doors, and so there, there was no recourse. And we do know from the records that four countries had lobbied behind the scenes, and that was United States, United Kingdom, France and the Netherlands. And we know from the records and the opinion of the, the UN rapporteurs at the time that this was vested business interest and political interest because it would have potentially adverse impact for industries such as genetic modification and nuclear weaponry and nuclear waste from nuclear energy uh, for the oil industry and for mining industry as well. So, uh, which is indeed probably the case. Uh, but nevertheless, what we're seeing here is now we're bringing to light the whole background that was there that uh, actually stopped something as momentous and it, as an international crime being put in place just purely because of lobbying from four 
member states. And what I'm doing this time is keeping this out in the public domain so that that never happens again. You know, we have a, a shrinking window of opportunity and we have a shrinking democratic space. So this is about moving fast. This is about getting this tabled this year, now. I, but I can't perform miracles. This is also about inviting others to come on board at all different levels. This isn't something that's to be kept behind closed doors at a political level. This is to be kept out in the public domain. And that means actually getting public engagement as well. So that's very important because this is something about finding those who have strong moral radars in whatever sphere of life it is to help come on board, to really take this out and make it visible. Here's a legal route path that can solve a lot of our problems and move us forward into a very different trajectory to move forward, not just here and now, but for future generations. So, uh, I mean, you know, in a way, this is about, um, you know, necessity of, of action here and now, and inviting others to engage in whatever way or capacity that's possible. I always look to the abolition of slavery and how that took many different actors, and many different spheres, and many different levels of life to help engage in it, to really bring that to an end. And I think we're dealing with something equally momentous here. Yeah, so please help me make it happen. So doing nothing is not an option. Yes, exactly.